Sarah Vaughn and welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's video, you guys are going to get ready with me for date night and I'm also going to be doing 50 facts about me. I absolutely love date nights. I just love getting all dressed up, looking good for my boyfriend. And we're, if you're wondering, we're going to Longhorn Steakhouse. And I'm pretty sure this was the first restaurant he ever took me out to when we first started talking. So it's a little special. But I'm so excited to be getting all dolled up and I'm excited to also share 50 facts about me. I wrote it down on a piece of paper because there's no way in heck I would remember it on the top of my head. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started on the facts about me. So the first one is I cheered for four years on varsity in high school. I, I cheered a little bit too in middle school, but I did all four years of varsity cheer in high school. And I also played two years um, in lacrosse. I wasn't that good, guys. I was a defense player because I could not catch a ball for my life. Um, that was a fun experience, honestly, but I was not good at lacrosse. I have some really embarrassing stories about me when I played lacrosse. So if you want to know those, let me know. Um, <laughs> very embarrassing stories next fact is that i love reading i feel like a lot of people don't know that about me because i don't really read but i do love reading a good book i tend to go for more like suspense kind of reading where i have to like wait until the very end of the story to figure out the solution or figure out who murdered someone or you know stuff like that I have a lazy eye. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, so I have to wear contacts. Otherwise, this eye goes in the middle. <laughs> My celebrity crush, well, let's just say growing up, but it has stayed the same person pretty much my whole life. And that's John Cena. I actually went to a WWE, like show one time and i got to see him and i like freaked the out like i love john cena i don't know what it is he's just always been my favorite celebrity and i love him acting too all right we're moving along here my biggest pet peeve i actually have two so i'm gonna do one school related and one like driving related because i low-key have road rage so we'll do the school one first though okay so my biggest pet peeve when it comes to like college and school in general is when like the whole class is working on homework or even outside of class, we have to do this homework and then someone either texts me or asks me for the answers and I know that they just want the answers because they don't want to do the assignment. And it's like, I work so hard or maybe not so hard, but I worked to do this homework and I took my time to do it and you want me to just give you the answers like that? Like, no, I'll never be that person. I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna help you out in the long run, but I hate when people do that. And then driving related pet peeve that I have is when someone pulls out in front of me, but they wait till the last minute to do it. So like they could have pulled out a lot sooner when I'm farther away, but they decided to do it when I'm closer. And then once they pull out, they go slow. And I'm like, so you're just gonna cut in front of me and then not go the speed limit? Like, could you not have waited until I passed you? Whoo, that gets my blood bubbling or boiling. Gets my blood, blood boiling. Next fact is that I have a twin. Now, it's not as exciting as you guys think because we're not identical because he's my brother and we look nothing alike, but yeah, I have a twin, but I'm a, I'm a minute older. So it's always cool, you know, being a twin, but at the same time, we have to share the same birthday, you know, things like that. But overall, I like having a twin. It's not that bad. Um, what do I do next? Oh, my eyebrows. My next fact is I love cats. I would consider myself a crazy cat lady if you asked me. And I don't know why, but preferably I like black cats the most. I don't know. I've just had good experiences with black cats growing up. We've had a few um, growing up and I just loved every single black cat that we have. So like, I just freaking love black cats. 
and I have one right now and we have like the best connection ever like I can't imagine life without my cat I know that sounds like crazy but I'm like dead serious <laughs> this next fact is kind of embarrassing but funny at the same time I got in trouble in first grade for cheating so this guy was sitting next to me and he tattletailed on me and I guess before prior I got a warning for cheating but she said, I told you if you did this again, like you gotta go to the principal's office. So I went to the principal's office and <laughs> when my mom picked me up, she laughed. Like, I love my mom for doing that because if she would have been mad at me, oh, I probably would have lost it, like cried, bawled my eyes out because I was already so upset, but she just laughed at me. <laughs> or not laughed at me, but she laughed at the situation. She was like, what were you thinking? I was like, I don't know. I probably said something like, I didn't do it. Also, let me know if you guys want a more in-depth make makeup look or my makeup routine because I don't really say anything when I do my makeup, um, but just let me know. But the next fact is I've gotten foot surgery before and my foot is still messed up. Yeah, don't walk on your foot when you're not supposed to because that's what my younger self did. But yeah, I've gotten foot surgery from because of an injury I had in gymnastics. So that was fun. I was in like a boot in a, a cast for like a few months. It was for a while. Next fact, kind of on the sportier um, topic again. But I danced competitively for 10 years and then I did gymnastics for seven years. So I was competing pretty much my whole childhood, which I don't regret, but it was a lot of pressure I love drawing I feel like good thing my boyfriend appreciates this and doesn't think it's weird but especially when we first started dating like as gifts I would give him drawings because I thought it was more sentimental than just buying something because it's like self-made but I absolutely love drawing specifically like like um, I like flowers um, but I also like landscape type things to draw but that's always stuck with me since I was younger I took French for two years total so four semesters I took French throughout high school and college and let me tell you that was so fun but I'm kind of happy that I don't have to take another language again if you hear any background noise it's because <laughs> my boyfriend's here now the next fact is I'm very sensitive. This is, I guess, a good thing and a bad thing. Mostly a bad thing though, because <laughs> I swear, I get sad over the littlest things, mad over the littlest things, but that's just who I am. The top three things that I love, besides like family and close friends and my boyfriend, is food, traveling, and working out to an extent like I love working out but at the same time like I low-key like never want to go to the gym but that's just a motivational problem because once I'm in the gym then I'm the happiest person but I hate like getting to the gym my top three biggest fears is dying planes and pretty much any kind of bug I see a bug I can't even like kill bugs like I can't even like pick it up with a freaking towel to put it like in the toilet or something like I can't even do that I have two brothers a twin and then an older brother let's go ahead and do another one three bad habits that I have is overthinking um, biting or not biting picking my skin on my nails like I don't know, I have like OCD when it comes to like the skin on my fingers. Like I have to pick it off right away. And then just, um, looking at my body in a negative way. I have six piercings, three, which ear is it? Three on this side, two on this side. Used to have three on this side, closed up on me. And then a belly button piercing. I love this stuff by the way. Got it from Target, but it's so pretty. Alrighty, makeup is complete. And now we're gonna do my hair. 
You can come in. I'm gonna curl my hair again. I just like how it's been looking recently, so yeah. While I wait for my curling iron to heat up, I'll answer a few more. Um, my biggest turn ons is planning and actually caring about what I have to say. Like, yes, please show me that you care. Um, my biggest turn offs is, oh my God, I hate this. Making me feel stupid for something I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't know that. Like, you know, something that I've always looked for in a man is um, like being built, I guess, muscles and then being mature and also not being afraid to be vulnerable. Okay, let's get started curling. And we'll do some more facts. Oh my God, my part is first off, not right. I prefer cake over cookies. I love cake. Like I can have birthday cake every day. Um, I believe in second chances. Like I'm gonna be the kind of person that gives you a second chance. But for the most part after that, there's no more chances unless like, I don't know, you do something. But I do believe in second chances. I get annoyed really easily by like the smallest things, which, you know, it's kind of draining for me to get annoyed that easily, but that's just who I am. I, let me think, oh my God. I was a national champion for dance and gymnastics. I kind of forget that I was in gymnastics, but because the dance one was like, I don't know, it was just more special to me, I guess. Christmas is my favorite holiday. I don't know, it just feels so cozy. And there's so many activities you can do during the season, like ice skating, looking at Christmas lights and stuff like that. Um, let's see, what do I have? Oh, this one's kind of random. My, I'm a size seven in shoes. I don't know why I wrote that one down, but whatever. I am always the kind of person that will go for comfort over cute or sexy, like, I can barely wear clothes that are uncomfortable in general, so I always just go for comfier clothes rather than like cute, uncomfortable clothes. Um, it takes me so long to curl my hair. I have green eyes. I feel like that's just an obvious fact, but it was kind of hard coming up with 50 facts about myself for some reason. Um, I don't have any tattoos, but I eventually do want some. I just don't think I really truly know what I want and I don't want to get something and then regret it down the line. So I always am looking at ideas, but I don't think I have the courage yet to actually get one. The person I trust the most would hands down be my boyfriend, but also my mom. Like I've always just had a really close relationship with my mom, so I trust her a lot. Uh oh, get off. Whoosh. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Um, I don't like loud music unless I'm like really in the mood for it, but most of the time I hate loud music. Like I have never wanted to go to like a concert or anything. That's just not my, not my kind of thing. Okay, finally moving on to the other side. A little over it, a little over it right now. Um, let's see. Um, my some of my insecurities i'll probably just name off like two um my lips i don't want to get lip injections though i don't know i just 
they scare me a little like there has been so many times where i'm like i want lip injections so bad and there's times like now where i'm like no like i just need to love my lips i can i can always overline them like i overline my lips every day and yeah that's always been an insecurity of mine and then another insecurity of mine is being shy like i really really wish i wasn't shy but i don't know whenever i just am around people i just am so quiet and i wish i was more outgoing but it's something i have to work on uh, i perform better under pressure yeah, I know it's different for people, but I've always just performed better under pressure. I don't know. Um, if I were to meet one famous person... Why does it keep getting stuck in my hair? One famous... Well, for me, it's a couple that I really want to meet is Montana and Ryan. They're on YouTube. I would highly recommend checking them out. But I want to meet them so bad because I've heard only good things about them, like how sweet they are. And I watch their videos literally every day. And like I inspire to be like them. But yeah, if you don't know who they are, I would highly recommend checking them out. Mm. I hate walking slash running. To me, it's just so boring. I don't know. Like, I just hate walking and running. Like, I mean, oh my god. I want to burn myself, but like, can't get off me keeps getting stuck i like i will walk like at an amusement park or something would be fine but like if my intention is to walk because i want to work out i can't do it it's just it's boring to me um i can't cook now i don't think i've had the opportunity to actually like experience cooking on my own but when i do cook like with my boyfriend i'm usually scared I don't want to burn myself but I think I just have to get used to it but as of right now I can't really cook <laughs> at all like I cook rice sometimes for my boyfriend but that's pretty easy that's not that's not that bad um I prefer staying in over going out hands down like every time if someone gives me the ultimatum Pretty much every time unless i'm like getting glam like this i would say let's stay and watch a movie and eat some good food every time i promise you um <laughs> this one's funny i'm named after my granddad his name's daryl and then my grandma's middle name is vaughn so that's where we got daryl vaughn a uh, funny story about my name. My name just used to be Daryl, and then my parents changed it when I was like eight, I think, to Daryl Vaughn. I cracked my head open. I don't remember how old I was, but I was younger. I was in the shower alone, but for some reason I thought someone was in there with me, and I decided to do a trust fall off through like a ledge, like you know, like that seating that you can have in like a shower. I was on top of that standing and I fell back thinking someone was going to catch me like a trust fall. Obviously no one caught me and cracked my head open. And I remember being so traumatized like in the ER getting my stitches in and out because they put my face in a pillow and I literally couldn't breathe. Um, so that was a fun experience. I hate soda. I've never liked soda. I don't know if it's because of the fizziness because I like fizzy drinks because I drink energy drinks. But... I just never liked soda, which I guess is good. You know, sodas, well, diet soda's fine, but I mean, like, soda in general is just not the best for you. So I guess that could be considered a good thing. Um, oh, yeah. I prefer writing notes over typing on a computer, like in school. I feel like everyone now just types notes on their computer, which, yes, is, like, so much easier. But... I swear, whenever I can not be on my computer, I won't be. So I always take handwritten notes. And two, when I go to study, I tend to just like looking at my own handwriting. I would consider myself an organized person. Like, well, first off, I love to organize things, my own stuff and other people's things. Um, so I, 
I think I usually tend to stay pretty organized. Um, I also like have to have like a schedule, like a planner to write stuff out at the beginning of the week to get done. It helps me so much um, and it's motivating because I'll like highlight it off once I'm done and I feel so accomplished at the end of the week when everything's highlighted. So that's something I've been doing since I've gotten into college and I will never not do it. I am definitely a morning person, but I feel like at the same time I can be a night person. I don't know, but I've always, I feel like I'm more of a morning person because I do go to bed pretty early on most days. And I love just waking up before like the world wakes up, if that makes sense. It's so just, it's like meditation kind of for me. Um, I hate giving presentations, as do we all. I, I don't know why, they always go well, but just like I get worked up about it and then like it's the best feeling once it's over and oh my goodness, like the relief I get when a presentation's over in school is amazing. I think I have one more fact actually, which is perfect because I just finished my hair. Oh, I think I missed a piece. Um, I've been to five continents. I luckily have been very privileged to be able to travel to so many beautiful places and I hope one day I can do the same for my family and children. But it really developed my love for traveling and also learning about like different religions and cultures. It's honestly, it's a once in a lifetime experience really like traveling. I love it. Oh my goodness. I feel like I have a lot of body in my hair today. Alrighty guys, it is time to get dressed. I just got this dress off of Shein and I actually got it in a different color. I love it so much, but it's like this sporty, but also very sexy kind of dress and it fits my body to a T, which I love. And I'll probably pair it with this cropped puffer jacket later because it's getting colder out now and I hate being cold. So I'll probably wear this later, but, and then I'm going to wear like white sneakers with it. So it's like kind of casual cause we're not going to like a fancy fancy restaurant, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on right now. So let's do a cool little transition. Here is the outfit. I feel so confident in this dress. It's very flattering very cute so yeah I'm so excited for this date night I can't wait to eat some yummy steak mm, making my mouth water but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to do something that makes you happy today guys I'll see y'all in the next one bye